I'm here with Mark Nelson, and Mark is going to show us some different styles of clasps and why we might use them in a design. Hi, Mark. Hey. Hey. So tell us about some of these clasps, and let's start with this one right here. Okay. Well, that's a um, dexterity clasp. Mm -hmm. It is magnetic. Mm -hmm. You can give, give a little pinch there. So it's really there. easy. You just pinch it and right. pull it off the post there. This is really good for people with limited dexterity, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And it's still very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And the thing with magnetics, though, is that you want to try and not wear them as bracelets. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to change the, uh, put gas in your car or something, it's oh, just going right. to attach Might to your car. Stuck. Okay. So. so good for necklaces. And then this one looks like a traditional pearl knotting clasp. Right. Uh huh. And, and it has um, a little safety here. You can just go ahead and pull it out and squeeze then you, it. Mm -hmm. Then you kind of feed it out. And why would you use this type of clasp? Probably just to keep it streamlined with your pearls, and you can knot directly to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it looks like there's a little bit of French wire here at the end, which you would always want to use to protect the, the thread where it meets the clasp. Right. Okay, and it looks like we have an S hook here. Yes, an exact S hook. Um, it kind of goes with a design. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very light design, so you have a lot of strength here that's going to yeah, keep that on. Yeah, and you know what I love about using a hook with a piece like this is that then you can really alter the length. So right. depending on your neckline, you could hook the end of the S hook anywhere along the length of Especially the chain. Especially that link, yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to use it. And here's a toggle. Toggles, toggles. And mm -hmm. in this case, a toggle is really great because there's a lot of weight mm -hmm. that's always going to keep that closed. Mm -hmm. And it kind of uh, mimics the look of the rings, too. Right. Mm -hmm. And tell us about this one. This Over one looks here, really different from we what have, we're used to seeing. Yeah, these are kind of cool. These um, go in line with mm -hmm. the cable, so it's all streamlined. And this is a um, friction clasp. So it's just held in place by? Friction. Friction. Yeah. And this one happens to be a tension one. Hmm. This one's a little bit different. Then you got to give it a little twist. Okay. And then um, you twist it and then pull. Mm -hmm. So those are good for use with cable designs Very, or thicker right. wire. Mm -hmm. And what about these? This is another type of box clasp. You mm -hmm. can see here that we can just kind of pull this and um, pull it out. Mm -hmm. And it's a little box, tongue and groove. And so that's going to be a really secure closure. Very secure, and it's nice. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a bead itself. It's, mm -hmm. It could almost be like a focal point. Yeah. And, um, and nice it looks like it works really well for bracelets. It does. It's it very easy to do. a heavier weight, too. And then over here, we have some more magnets. Mm -hmm. um, very secure. This one actually, is, you can't pull it apart. Oh, wow. But you lift it apart. Oh, clever. And so it's very secure. It looks kind of like an anchor. Mm -hmm. anchor and that would be great for a necklace, too, that has some weight at the front. You're right. Mm -hmm. And here's one for a multi-strand. Oh, yeah. Two different pieces there. Again, pull it apart versus this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And I think what's great about these is you could use them at the front of your design because that's such a hot look right now right. to bring the clasp to the front and use it as a focal, especially this style right here, the two that fit together, the duet clasp. Duet or hook and eye. Mm -hmm. um, I like these are very clever. Um, I like the design of these. Me too. And they're very simple to operate. You just line up the two thin spots. Mm -hmm. And um, so even doing this behind your neck, right. you can still find it. Pretty easy. So. And it looks like that would be perfect for a piece like this. Right. Actually, we have one here. We kind of mimic the look mm -hmm. of the lobster clasp, but mm -hmm. instead of actually having a spring in it, you just kind of mm -hmm. feed it through the two thin oh, spots. Oh, okay. So it looks like a lobster, but it's really not. Right. The very, faux lobster. Very, very secure for a heavy, ob yeah. heavy object. It's beautiful. And are most of these clasps available in different metals? Uh, most of them are. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to find your, your base metals, silver, gold, mm -hmm. the most popular ones there. Yeah. That makes it nice that you can match it along with your design. Right. And then mm -hmm. here, over here, we have uh, another example of use mm -hmm. for that hook and eye. This time, you know, the washers mimic the shape of the larger rings. Yeah. So it feeds into the design. Right. So a lot of times when people are choosing a clasp, they may wonder if there's some kind of a rule for, you know, you always use a particular type of clasp for a particular item. Not that I've ever known. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen so many rules broken, you know, it's right. just... It's good art mm -hmm. <laughs> to break rules. So yeah, so you're basically just taking your cues from the design itself. From the design, but make sure it's secure. Mm -hmm. You know, don't use a little thin clasp or big, big necklace. Mm -hmm. So you want to do keep it secure. Okay, well that's those are some great tips and some help in choosing our clasp for our designs. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank you. And we'll be right back.